Welcome back to Art Class with Miss Chris. This week, we're going to explore a type of art called surrealism. Surrealism was developed in Europe. It's sought to release the creative potential of one's mind. It's dreamlike, it's unexpected, and it's somewhat bizarre. There's an artist that's most famous for this, and his name is Salvador Dali. His most famous painting is called The Persistence of Memory. So today we're going to dive in to the world of surrealism and your creativity. And we're going to make a one of a kind apple. And I know that sounds weird, but this is not just any apple and you'll see why. So let's get started with our surrealist apple. So the first thing we're going to do today, oh, well, well, Let's get started with what you need, right? Okay, so you're gonna need a variety of colored pencils. You could also do this in watercolor paint, whatever you want. Pencil, I have some blues, dark blues, purples. I have a brown for the apple core. I have a yellow for a pop of brightness, and I have red for the color of the apple. I also have my flare pen. Um, a black uh, for a black outline. You could use a Sharpie or whatever you have. You could even use a black colored pencil. All right, let's get started with the apple based on surrealism. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the top of the apple, then we're gonna have the apple core and the bottom of the apple. And then what's inside of the apple is gonna be all up to you. It's gonna be a crazy world that you're gonna create inside. So to draw the outside of the apple, I'm gonna start by drawing the top of the apple. That's gonna be open. I'm gonna about right here. And I'm gonna come up, kind of a curve like that. There's the top of my apple. Now my apple has, is already gonna be eaten. Like somebody already ate the apple. So this is just gonna be the top of the apple that's bit through. So I'm gonna create bites on the top of the apple. See how I'm doing that? Those are all areas that have been bit. Now, the very top of my apple will be the stem. So we're gonna create a little curve like this. And we're gonna create the stem of the apple. So that curve is going to come up like so, and there's going to be the top of it. I'm going to erase this because this is in front of that. So now I have the stem and I have my apple. That was pretty good. Took some bites out of that. Now we're going to make the core. So. All that's left of this apple is the core. We're gonna come down like so, and we're gonna come down like so, okay? It's almost like a tree, right? Um, now we're gonna make the bottom of the apple. So I'm gonna come up, and what has happened is this apple has been bit up, chewed up. It's pretty good, red delicious apple. And I'm going to create an area like that. Okay. Bottom of the apple. It's almost like a boat. All right. Now I'm going to come back to the top and I'm going to make some lines that kind of look like that. At the top of my apple. And then I'm going to go into the core of the apple. And I, this is where I'm going to start the surrealism aspect. So you can make any crazy designs you want in here. Um, you can do checkerboard, line work, um, anything, anything. You could go into um, doodling inside here to make it really interesting. I'm just going to do kind of um, a weird design. I'm going to make a circle. 
and I'm gonna keep making circles all the way through. Here, top of the circle, bottom of the circle, top of the circle, bottom of the circle. I'm just doing kind of a, a basic weird design like this. As I said, you guys feel free to do anything you want in there. All right, now, what's going on? What world am I gonna make in here? What's growing inside my apple core? What's happening? Well, the first thing that's gonna happen in my apple is I'm going to make a spider right here. I'm gonna have a little long string or web. Then I'm gonna have a little spider that's growing coming off my apple. And this is where you're gonna start seeing that surrealism, the unexpected, the creativity. Being, a, being an artist and enjoying making art, it's all about being creative, right? It's all about what comes out of you. Making a good piece of art is making a unique piece of art. It's not copying someone else's art, which that's how you learn. But then when you get really good at art, it's because you're being original, right? You're making art that comes from your imagination. And that's what we're doing today. All right, what else? I have all these little bites. What can I hang from these bites? Well, I'm gonna have, here's a little cord right here, and I'm gonna hang a moon, a moon from this little piece right here. What are you gonna hang from your apple? You can hang things you like. Say you like um, a video game or Minecraft. You could have Minecraft um, little characters hanging among the skies. I don't know. Anything that you like. I'm making kind of symbols. Um, I've always liked um, the symbol of peace sign. So I'm going to have a little peace sign hanging. I like, I like the word peace. I like what it represents. So I'm gonna make a little peace sign hanging from my apple. You can, I mean, say you're a dancer, you could have like ballet shoes hanging, anything you want. Make the little items that are coming off um, symbolize things that you like. All right, let's keep going with this. Um, I got my moon, I'm gonna make a little star, maybe a little, little longer hanging from my apple. There's a little star, all right, what else can I have hanging? Um, maybe one more little item over here hanging. Okay, I'm gonna make, let's see, I'm gonna make a yin and yang. I like that too, the balance of life. Night and day, dark and light. All right, so what's going on in the bottom of my apple? Hmm, I have no idea. One thing I do really like, I like plants. I like gardening and I like growing things and seeing things um, develop. So I'm gonna make like, I'm gonna make some weird little mushrooms right here growing inside my apple core. Little mushrooms. Okay, I'm gonna put little circles on here. Uh, maybe I'll make another little, little here, little baby mushrooms growing inside this apple. It's so weird. Okay, I'm also gonna make um, some flowers growing inside my apple or plants. You can have anything you want. Anything that you think represents things that you like. That's the fun part. Actually, when I teach art in person, that's how I like to teach. I want, I want your art to be about you, unique. All right, there's a cool little flower. Um, let's see, I'll make another little plant. I just bought this cool plant and I'm gonna draw it right here. It's a kind of a weepy plant. 
and I draw this weeping plant that I just bought. Kind of. Alrighty, there's a little, there's another little plant world. Hmm, what else am I gonna draw in here? I was thinking it would be cool to have like buildings growing in here. Like there's a little world inside this apple core. It's got buildings in it. I mean, you could design your apple inside your apple. It could be a world of art. It could be about like different projects we've made, right? It could be all inside here. We've made if you've been sticking with me during this course, we, you guys have made so much art this year. I'm gonna put some windows in my buildings. You could have cars driving through this apple core. You could have roller coasters. You could have, you could have it all about Disneyland. You could have anything. I like cities. Um, I like the energy of going to a city. I like people. I like culture. I enjoy traveling to cities all over the place. Hopefully I'll get to take some trips and you guys too this summer and see some beautiful, beautiful places, beautiful cities, nature. Alrighty. So what else can I put in here? I'm gonna have a little butterfly. I'm gonna have a little butterfly flying through my apple. Okay, so that's gonna be my apple um, and the world I have inside of it. Now I'm gonna bring it to life with color. And this is gonna take me a little bit of time, so I'm gonna speed things up. I'm gonna have an interesting thing happen outside of my piece. It's going to be raining. I'm gonna have raindrops coming all through the background. First thing I'm gonna do is outline everything in black, and then I'm gonna start coloring in the apple and all the things inside of it. Um, to really bring this piece to life. So here we go. I'm going to do a time lapse now and I'm going to color this apple in. My surrealist apple opened up to a world inside. I look forward to seeing your projects and what you create. I want to let you know that this is my last video of the school year 
and I have really enjoyed making these for you. And my, here's my cat. Say, say hi. My cat has enjoyed these videos too. Just kidding. But um, thank you. Um, thank you for participating in the videos and enjoying being creative. Keep that with you. Keep drawing. Keep your sketchbooks going because being a creative person, and I do believe this, is going to help you in every aspect of your life as you grow up. You're going to be a person that has great ideas. So keep your ideas flowing and keep those sketchbooks going. And I have enjoyed every moment with you. Thank you. Take care. Bye.